as those, you can carry three or four, strap it to your shelter, fall asleep, at least you've got a constant visual flash throughout the night. There's a chance of you being located. Yeah. Whilst you're sound asleep, yeah. and the next thing you may know is one of us ugly people going, hello, are you OK? And if uh, you get the chance to sleep, you'll probably wake yeah. up and make better decisions the following day. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got a small first aid kit. I know we fly in rescue or air ambulance. Yeah, we carry critical care equipment, mountain rescue equipment, but this is just a small first aid kit. Again, life systems. We used to sell their kit, but we don't now, so I'm not I'm not advocating. There's no bias there. We don't sell their kit now, but it's, it's just convenient. Small package, lightweight, robust, and it's got everything you need in to tend to yourself. Small cuts, lacerations, burns, blisters. There's just enough in there to manage everything you might encounter if you're trekking through the jungle or scrambling up and down a mountain. There's some uh, chlorine tablets. I've put some chlorphenamine in there, some antihistamine, some Tylenol, aspirin, um, just two or three meds to get you over the basics until you can reunite with your kit or you've found. And it is, we kind of touched on it in uh the last podcast, I think. That's an individual one. Uh, you can seal them. Uh, the m- military guys from the UK. It's not an IFAC as such. It's a little first aid kit. Things like tweezers, safety pins. Uh, I do carry an old suture line, uh, predominantly to repair clothes. Not necessarily to... I'm not suturing myself because it will hurt. What to do repairs even if your your boots fall into bits you can kind of repair stuff with paracord the inside of paracord but it gives you the needle that kind of thing uh, yeah. so I had one of those in that's just a personal thing well, speaking of sutures this <coughs> small kit's got some stirry strips in so you don't need to suture I know we can wrap those stirry strips to stop them opening with the zinc oxide okay. tape or on the Nalgene bottle with the duct tape whether it be micropore, zinc oxide or duct tape, we can use that to prevent blisters, to treat blisters and prevent them becoming worse. Or we can use it to repair our equipment or to even hold together the, the struts or the main supports of the shelter that you're going to build. Yeah. Uh, or even if you wear leather flight boots, <clears throat> for example, big boots, you're now in the middle of the jungle here, you've now got wet feet, you're now going to get blisters. It's that part of the protection from further injury further harm, protection from the elements it kind of covers all that as well <coughs> excuse me, your biscuits were too old <laughs> it's been a good exercise to see what we need yeah. to change but it's with the upcoming red manual we'll probably put a section in that kind of thing, take some photographs yeah. create some lists for different scenarios and, and probably put some videos, explainer videos on YouTube as well the other thing we haven't mentioned is communications we normally carry our smartphones or radios uh, but also we've got the signal mirrors I carry a standard compass, silver compass I've got a GPS as well but generally the batteries run out or the humidity gets in and damages the batteries or you're going to smash it as you fall down the mountain whereas the silver compass very simple, very basic go all the way back to your standard map and, map and compass skills so prior plan and preparation you need to be competent in the use of a compass but that might just guide you towards if you waited and nobody's come to get you, maybe you can use your compass or your land navigation to get to a place where it'll be easier to meet the rescue teams or you can self-rescue, get into a road or an open area. Then we've got, still on the communications and signalling, GPS, satellite telephone in the aircraft and the rescue teams, we carry a satellite telephone. Again, have you got enough credit? Has it expired? Have you got somebody to call? If you're in a canyon in the jungle, there's going to be no signal. You're not going to reach the satellites. Maybe on top of a mountain or an open field, it'll work. But then, how are you going to charge it? So I carry a, a solar power monkey, crack it open. It's not going to work in the jungle under the canopy, but on the side of the mountain in this climate, you probably charge any of your batteries up in a couple of hours. Yeah, I, I carry a, a, a small solar monkey. I've got one of those cheap, small, what they call brick battery things to top up. For smartphones, whilst they've got loads of apps and they're really useful, their battery doesn't last very long with constant use. So many apps running in the background, isn't uh, it? They'll drain your battery quick. 
I I do have a small cheap telephone. The one with the battery that lasts forever with like ten dollars of credit on it and a couple of numbers. Get a wind up yeah. charger. Doesn't take a yeah. lot of space. You can uh, wind up. I, and I like with the compass. If we do have communications and we say, Chris, I need you to walk north half a kilometre. If you don't know where north is in the jungle because you can't see and you go south, we've now lost you, whereas at least it gives you that ability to walk You've in the direction. you margin or, of error. Hello, my last comms is I'm heading south. And then you go east because you don't know where south is or where you perceive south is. It just allows that because maps of jungles are like maps of deserts. Well, this is why incorporating the compass, you've got a magnifying glass so you can identify the micro contours on your map, but you can also use a magnifying glass to start a fire. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Well, we could probably talk about this all day. But it's just about to rain. It's about to hammer it down again, so let's wrap it up. This podcast has been powered by caffeine, particularly SOS Coffee, uh, which we sell. Hit us up on the website if you want some, or when you come down the courses, you can buy some. We use the proceeds to plough back into the communities to set up medical missions, buy medicines, deliver free CPR and bleeding control courses to help the Guatemalan community. Thanks very much, Chris. No, thank you. It's been a wonderful sunny day. Fantastic. Take care, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.